Okay, so now it seems like what we want to do is we... I'm going to clear out my inventory real quick, because it looks like what we're going to need is we're going to need cayenne terracotta, glowstone, some black stained glass, and um, some... Oh man, I need a burp, but it won't come up. There it went. So, and then what we need, uh, also what we need is some stone brick stairs. So, it looks like from here, I'm going to start with the center forwardmost eye. And uh, get, the, get this in place, because once I get that in place, it should be pretty easy to figure out where everything else goes. So, let me just eyeball this real quick, because it looks like it goes backwards, and then glass, and then stone. So, and then two by... Th is a two by three, and then drop it down by one. All right, so um, coming coming to the front of the head we've got made, it should be pretty easy to determine where the front of our head is. I need to grab some night vision real quick so I can see under there. So coming down to the front of the head, you should have this little nose, like the, the like the uh, the nose of the head coming up. So go under it, and you should have this little row of three real quick. I guess what you want to do is go ahead and well. I guess this would be the moment where having gray concrete would be handy right now. Just kind of go ahead and from that row of three right here, just kind of scoot it back like maybe four blocks or so. Just make it all flush and closed in. So, okay, step back, uh, recap. I need to take a step back. So we're at, we're at the front of the head, under the nose. You should have this little row of three all by itself, and then it goes up and in. So you want to skip a block, go backward, go to the back, and just kind of put a... Uh, two, like a two by three, um, stack of black glass, and then in the center, pull it down by one. And then from there, you want to go ahead and kind of come into the inside, so now you can kind of be flush with it. Just kind of make a Y junction, kind of like this, I think. Actually, freeze, uh, freeze for a moment. I need to, uh, make sure... Uh, okay, so... Yeah, the way I just had it, it's the way it goes, so you should have like this little Y junction. You don't need to fill... Well, you can fill that in if you want to, but I busted it out because you can still somewhat get inside the head that I made. And I kind of made it to where you can at least see through the glass, but, you know, that's not mandatory. So I guess if you wanted to fill it in, you might as well go ahead and do so. And then from there... Oh, also, I guess real quick, you might want to grab some stone brick slabs. I forgot to throw that out there and then so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a an edge of stone uh, upside down st well from here I guess it doesn't matter which side you're out on on the glowstone so both sides put an upside down stair there take your slab put it below that block of glowstone and then from here I guess um, what I did is I put the upside down stair right side up facing sideways kind of I don't know make it a little less well, maybe not not so much less, but more more intricate, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. And um, I'm going to take a, f a quick flyby over here, because this is where we're going to start getting the main structure of the um, under head done. Oh, and uh, real quick, I guess, just to throw that out there, cover up that glowstone with whatever block you want. It doesn't really matter. It won't be visible, really, but... So now we're going to switch over to our cayenne terracotta, and I need to fly over here real quick, because it looks like from here... Um... How... Which way would be easier to do this? Hmm... Okay, I'm going to try to just get, like, the center... Like, the uh, center eye socket tube, or whatever the... I don't even want to... Care about what it's called, but... Oh shit, my night vision's about to run out. Um... Okay, so, cayenne terracotta. And it looks like just to simply start it off, that's a row of three. So going over to the head that we're making, you want to come behind the glowstone, the bottom most block by itself, pull it back by three, row of three, and then on the sides, you want to kind of make it hollow. So you want to bring it back by three and then make it too tall. Oop, too tall, just like this. And then from there... Let's see, um, uh, you, um, okay, get your, uh, get your eyes focused on it like this and freeze, so th this will make it easier for you to follow along with what I'm doing. And it looks like, um, I'm just going back over here and checking something real quick. That's, uh, one, another three. Okay, so, freeze, keep looking. Alright, so you should be looking at this. Come around the back of it, and this little row of three all by itself, 
uh, drop it down by one like this and pull it back make it three again and then from there you just want to go ahead and go on both sides just kind of like put a block of three on both sides pull it up and over again like this and then um, freeze real quick um, don't move freeze I need to make sure that the rest of it goes the way I think it does oh no it actually kind of surprised me okay so um, keep looking at what you're looking at so you should be looking at this alright so now we're back so now um, go to the um, this block here we'll actually now bump it up and kinda like back in so in other words just kinda pull this back by three flush again and then if you wanted to to kinda go up here pull it back all the way and that'll kinda like indicate the top of like the cockpit or I don't know, the driver's seat, and this is where that would be bust out. I'm going to leave mine busted out so I can at least see. So, and then from here, um, freeze again. So, anytime I say freeze, just stay looking on your screen at what we're looking at, because I need to go back and recount some stuff to make sure everything's all lined up. And, um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that real quick. This will at least make it easier to see. Okay, so uh, now I think I figured it out. It's, uh... Oh! Oh, God, that's my phone. Shit. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that, that's some, some shenanigans right there. Yeah, that's my uh, text tone. A little unprofessional, but I don't care. That was actually perfect. Wow. Yeah, I got the, uh, the war horn, or the, the sound of the tripods, as my notification sound on my phone. Got it from Zedge, because I have a Samsung phone, so, yeah, I mean, if you if you ever wanted to know if that's, like, a ringtone you can get, yeah, it exists, so, there's that. Um, so if you're still staring at what I told you to be looking at, uh, okay, because now I'm coming back, and I think I know where I'm going next, that's one, two, three, four, five, okay, so, keep staring at what you're staring at, so you should be looking at this, my night vision's about to run out again. So, kind of terracotta, and you should have this bottom row of three blocks all by itself. You want to pull it back and drop it down again. Make it five in length. One, two, three, four, five. And then you want to make that three wide, so put a row of blocks on each side. And then from, um... Oh, shit. <sighs> Wait a minute, did I mess something up? Stay, uh, stay put, freeze again. I need to check something. Is it just me, or am I just looking at that wrong? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Rewind. Okay, so keep looking at what you're looking at. All right, so what you actually want to do... Okay, get, get rid of that, what we just did, that 3 by 5 layer that we pulled down and dropped down. Now, you should be back to this. Now, what you actually want to do is go back to this row of 3 blocks all by itself and actually keep it on the same level and bring it back by 5 again. So, 1 two, three, four, five, and then you want to make it the three wide. Okay, so one, one extra row of blocks on each side to make it three by five, and then from there, behind that three by five, you want to go down, drop it down, pull it back one, do it again, so one, two, three, four, five again, and then just make it three by three again, or three by five, three blocks wide, and, um, Okay, so from here, um, freeze one more time. Well, there's going to be several more times, but stay still. And then it looks like from there... Okay. Aha! Okay, so keep looking at what you're looking at. Alright, so now we should have gotten this much done, right? Alright, so now you want to go to the first 3x5 um, surface that we made before. And now you just kind of want to bring up the edges. Kind of like pull it out and to the side on both sides and do it again so practically what you're doing is you're just kind of making an extra ring that goes around the edge of this layer so just kind of like do a little something like this just bring it all the way around making it one block fatter and then just pull it all the way back by five kind of make it all nice and even oops da -da -da -da. Okay, so from there, whoop, shit. So from there, just uh, stay still again. I need to go ahead and take a look at something. Okay. So it looks like from there, what we're going to be doing is... Okay, so keep looking at what you're looking, and... Okay, I'm back, so now we're looking at this. 
My night vision's about to run out again. So now we should be on the second 3x5 surface that we made that dropped down and went back. So now from there, Kai and Terracotta, and you're just going to do the same damn thing. Pull out, uh, and it, uh, pull it out and over on the sides by one. And you want to do it one more time. Whoops, shit. One more time. And then you want to make that three high. So two, three. Oops. So on the other side, just kind of like pull it out and over to the edge. Make it length, and then make it three blocks tall. So one, two, three. And then just kind of pull that all back even. And really, I guess um, you can leave this, like, leave the top of this open, because you ain't going to be able to see it from here. So, okay, so now that's kind of like the center eye column done. So now we're getting ready to put in the two side lights, and then I think that will probably end up being the end of this part of the head tutorial. So, just, just some forewarning. Once we get these three lights in place, I mean, your tripod is practically, you know, ident like, identifiable as a tripod. And then I'll have to make some of the finer detailed videos later on down the line. So, I guess um, what we really need now is our uh, switch back to your gla black glass. I'm over on the one that I built to figure out where we need to place the um, two side lights just to make sure we got a count right. And it looks like uh, we... Where we be? We... Okay, so we're right there. I'm just making sure everything lines up accordingly. Don't want to have another mess up. Alright, so I think I got it figured out. Okay. So, alright, so, um... Now what you want to do is you want to come down, come to the left side of the head. Just kind of, like, back up a little way so you can see the whole thing, so you can see what I'm seeing. Because, uh, where we're going to place, okay, our black stained glass, where we're going to place this is take a step back, more towards the front of the head. And I'm pointing at where we're getting ready to go, so we're going right here, so fly down here, you know, monkey see, monkey do. You should have, like, these, um, little, this little zigzag of, like, two rows side by side flush with each other on the same level. What you want to do is you want to take your black glass, go to this block, put one on the bottom of it. Let me just make sure, yep. One on the bottom of it, and then go on the inside of it, and you want to kind of make, like, a whole X junction, so pull it over put one on the bottom, put one on the top, and then put one on the other side. And this kind of gets like your little X or your plus shape. And then from behind behind that glass, going towards the back of the head, make sure you just want to put your little um, cross junction of uh, lights. And actually, I think you bust out the center one, leave it hollow, I think. Yeah, I, I, I left mine hollow. So, and then, so you have like your little cross junction of the, um, uh, whoops, don't do that. I guess I'm going to go ahead and do that to the other side. If you haven't already done so, I'm going to go ahead and do it. So, there. Plus pattern. Glowstone. Oop. Alright, so now, if you got both, both of them in place, now it doesn't really matter which side you're on. Just kind of make sure you realize which side you're on. Just kind of do what I do. So now we just want to go ahead and repeat the process of you take your stone brick stairs, make them upside down, just kind of wrap around the edge of the glowstone to cover it up. Um, don't do the top one yet, but also go ahead and take a slab and cover up the bot the very bottom of the uh, bottom glass stone glowstone block. I'm gonna do that to the other one. Do -do -do, do -do -do. All right, so now we got now the three eyes are pretty much in place. And now I think, um, oh, okay. So, um, go ahead and keep your, st uh, go back to your stone brick stairs real quick and, uh, go ahead and go on the inside of the, uh, head and go ahead and, like, on both sides do this, cover up the glowstone just like that. And, uh, like that. Oop, like that. There we go. So now, I think we should be ready to switch back over to our cayenne terracotta. I know I'm kind of bouncing back and forth between the two tripods we have built here, but... Um... So now it looks like from there, just, um... Pick either... Either yeah, either, itch, either which side eye, it don't really matter, but... So come behind the glowstone on either side, and you want to take your kind of terracotta and just kind of put a row of three blocks behind each one, going towards the back of the head, like that. Do that on both sides. 
One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, and um, freeze real quick. Um, and then from there, we're going to, let's see, we're going to, I'm, I'm, I'm counting something. So, that's the three we just did. Oh, okay, so keep looking at what you're looking at. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter which eye you're on. So, on the bottom row of three, behind the uh, glowstone, the kind terracotta, you want to pull it down, uh, pull it back and drop it down by one. Make it three long again. And then you want to go ahead and just kind of bring up the edges, you know, pull it up and over. Keep doing so on each on both sides. And then, I guess, go ahead and start bringing it inward if you want to, to just kind of close it off. Oop. Damn it. Up and over. Cover that up. Do that to the other eye. Drop it drop it down. Pull it back by three. Da -da -da. I'm gonna I guess I'm just gonna keep doing this live. Da -da -da. And then just pull it up and over and like kinda go in the inverted direction to make kinda like a a cubicle circle. I'm kinda starting to talk to myself now. All right, glow, uh, night, uh, night vision. All right, so, and looks okay. So from here, let's see, where do we need to go now? Did I already get the other side done? No, okay. I'm, I'm just now getting back to this after several hours of doing some other shit. Just edit it all out. Okay, not. Let's see. We just did. What did we just do? We just did this. So I'm just recapping myself here. And actually, it looks like this stretches all the way back. Although, how far back? Well, I mean, I do... Okay, so. Then from here, it looks like all, all we really need to do now is to... Well, actually, wait a minute. Let me just double-check myself. Okay, yeah, so... Um, I'm gonna kind of keep this um, little vent thing off to the side for a minute. So what I'm gonna do is we're coming back here to our little side eye. Just bring this back, I guess, to about like right here. Just need to bring all this back. I would say about to this far. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. We'll just um uh, keep it to about right here. And then just bring all this back, and then we will figure out what goes in between everything, and then seal it all up, and then the head should pretty much be done. Well, I mean, it should be 99%, well, not even 99% done, but it should be 90% done, and enough to at least satisfy the people who have been waiting for all this to come out. And then, later on down the road, like I probably said several dozen times, I will get to the fine details in a separate video, and then it'll be 100% complete. And my night vision just ran out. Okay, so now, now from here, I think we're going to leave the, the, the eye, or the, um... We're going to leave the front of the um, spotlights alone for a minute, because I think now what we really should do is... Probably get the back of the head done, because as you can see, it's really just um, filling in a bunch of layers. So it looks like we're going to be switching over to our cayenne terracotta. And from the under, from the back of the head, it looks like... I'm taking a look here, give me a second. From there, what we want to do... So that's there, and then there's a two... Oh, okay, so now I figured out what I can do. So come, coming around to the back of the head, it should be all open still. What we want to do is you want to grab your gray concrete and, let's see here, from this l layer, you want to drop down to the next layer below it, and you want to go to this block, and you just kind of want to stretch it all the way across so it makes it all nice and even. Just like that. And then from here, just anywhere you want to count back to, and then, well, fill that in real quick. So count back to two, and then on the third block, you want to put a row of your cayenne terracotta, and this will be the beginning point as to where that's at. So that's what we're looking at now. So it looks like from there, what we're going to do next is, let's see, come back around here. You want to come to this row, kind of like look to either side of the head, it really don't matter, pick a side, and you just want to kind of drop down, go back one, pull it back all the way like that. 
And then from there, you want to do it again. Pull it down and back one. Only at this time, you want to make this go two blocks down. Two blocks down. And then from there, I need to take a check real quick. Oh, and then we're going to make it... Oh, okay. So then from there, after you get that uh, two rows down, then you want to go behind it and make it two blocks in length. So in other words, it's like two by two. So bring it back, like add another layer to the back of it. And then you want to drop down, bring it backwards again. I mean, we're kind of like doing this like stairs, like upside down stairs, if you haven't caught that by now. Only from there, how many do we go back? So then it, so then it goes three, four, four, and then the bottom of the head. All right, so from there, oh shit, I got to recap. I just the number completely slipped my mind. So we just did that. So three, three, and four. So three, three, and four. Okay, so we're gonna continue on with the uh, pattern. So this is gonna be three. Wait, no shit. Back up a second. I just realized it's the, uh... No, never mind. We were doing it right. My night vision's about to run out. So, you want to make this, um... This singular row here. You want to make it go inwards by three. So, add two more rows to it. Like so. And then you want to... Pull back, drop down another layer. Make it three. Again. Bring it all the way to the side. Oop. And then I think you want to drop it... Wait. Hold, hold up a second. Oh, uh, wait, is it three? F oh, okay, so never mind. You want to take that three and actually make it four. So this three, you want to make it four. So add another one more row to it. Oop. Oh, come on. Now things don't want to go my way now. And then just pull it back and drop it down again and make it four again. I should probably get some speed potion for this. This will make it go by a little bit quicker. Okay, there we go. And then just stretch it all the way back to the other end of the head. Or the other side. There we go. Let's see. And that That's this little spot. So that means that's going to be that spot. And then after four, and then, okay, and then we're going to do it one more time, and that's going to be kind of the bottom layer of the head, and we're going to make that five in length, five width. So after that last row four you just did, do it again, pull it back, drop it down one, make it five wide, so three, four, five, and bring it all the way to the side. And this will pretty much seal off the bottom of the head, and then we can put down the neck joint, and then we will pretty much be done with the bare bones mold of the uh, tripod's head, and that'll probably end up having to be the um, end of this video, because I, th I think it's just about all I got time for. Although, may, um, just to re also something else I should point out, whenever you get to the edges of the head on this layer, you actually want to leave a one block gap on both sides, so I'm going to go back over here, punch out that gap, and that should pretty much be the bottom of the head. Now we just need to join up all this stuff, and it'll be done. Now just, so let's see, we did that. So now we can pretty much, um, stretch it any direction we want. Although, I think it would probably be a better idea to figure out where the neck lines up with this tower of glass. So, let me count that out real quick, and I'll get back to you. Alright, I got it all counted out, so, if you still have the uh, tower of glass blocks you have sitting over here on the one we're building, here's what you want to do. In order to get the neck in place symmetrically with the rest of the body and the legs, it should still be all centered and symmetrical. So, let's see here, if I remember correctly. So if your glass blocks are still here, you want to come to the stack of glass that you have and count up by six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. On the sixth block, you want to actually make a cross pattern by three blocks. So one, two, three, one, two. Just kind of do this on each side. And this will indicate at least the uh, width of the neck. Now, how far down it goes, I'm not entirely sure. I think I might have... Oh, actually, no. So that's going to be the bottom of the neck joint. So that number is correct. So what you want to do then from there on is grab your... Um... Wait, I need some... I need to refill my night vision. 
grab some black concrete and practically all we're gonna do is just kind of make like a, a a zigzag junction well not like that but I guess that doesn't matter if that's there or not so, so that put one there so it's not rather than making it perfectly round it's just gonna be kind of like a diagonal box what am I stuck on oh that so make sure we get all the blocks put out and then it seems like from here, you should, all you should really do, let me just make sure. Oh, it actually goes up one, two, three. It doesn't go up by one, two, three. Oh, okay, I see what it does. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to build this up only by three rows. So this is the second layer. Oops, second layer. Third layer. Oops. All right, and then from there, what you want to do is you want to try to f okay on like uh, take for example this block right here. Make sure you just cut, like build it up, pull it back one, and then it's it's practically you're moving this whole um, thing backwards one block. So you kind of get like a bit of a curved shape. I mean, you don't really have to do it, but I do it for the sake of ultralistic detail. I mean, call me an an elitist or a perfectionist, but it works. Now I just gotta figure where the rest of the shit goes. This black concrete, you can't see the edges of it, so it makes it like damn near impossible to see where it's at if you're like in tight or enclosed spaces. So it seems like from here, I'm actually going to end the video here because I got other other stuff to do and I don't exactly have a lot of time left so we'll just consider this to be the bare bones model of the tripod so if any of you are waiting for this to come out so here it is um, the mid torso is gonna have to be its own little its own little part and hell if you wanted to like all this open space you can go ahead and make like your own thing if you really need to because all you have to do is just kind of like connect these tubes with the rear of the head and, you know make it flow and then it's pretty much done and on a later date, I'll get the finer details all done on the tripod as its own separate video. So, I know it's been about two months since the legs have been done. Now we got the head done. I know it kind of looks funky, but you're going to have to bear with me. So, I mean, now it's out there. You can do it. You can get it done. Now you, you'll, you'll at least have something presentable to show to your friends and all that good stuff. So, I'll try to get the rest of it done as soon as I can. And with further ado, I'll see you some other time.